Hey everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's continuing coverage of Snowflake Summit 22 live from Caesars Forum in Las Vegas. I'm Lisa Martin here with about 7,000 plus folks and this next CUBE segment, two words, girl power. Please welcome <laughs> one of our alumni back to the program, Colleen Copps, the SVP of Worldwide Partners and Alliances at Snowflake and Purnima Ramaswamy, EVP of Global Partnerships and Chief of Staff to the CEO. Ladies, welcome to the program. Thank you. Very happy to be here, amazing event. Isn't it, it's, it's so great to see this many people. Yesterday, the keynote, we got in barely, standing room only. I know there was at least one overflow room, maybe two people are chomping at the bit to hear what Snowflake and its ecosystem has been up to the last three years since 2019. It's been phenomenal since the last time we met um, together as, as humans coming together and then seeing the step function growth three years later. I don't think, you know, we didn't grow gradually. We yeah. just jumped three years ahead and it's been, I think, and people have just been hungry for the information and the sharing and the joint education. So it's been a phenomenal show. It has been. Pornima, talk to us about the Click partnership with Snowflake. What's it all about? What's your joint vision, vision your joint strategy? Give us all that good stuff. Sure, so uh, speaking of three years, uh, this relationship has been in existence for the last three years. We were at the last Snowflake conference in 2019, and I liked what Frank said. Even though we were not in person and live, the innovation has continued and our relationship has strengthened over the last three years as well. So it's interesting that uh, everything that uh, Frank and uh, everything that was mentioned at the keynote yesterday is completely in alignment with Click's vision and strategy as well. We are focused on making data available for quick decision making in a timely manner for in the moment bus uh, business decisions as such. The world has gone topsy-turvy in the last two years. So you want to know things that are changing as they happen and not one day late, one month late or one quarter late because then the world's already passed you. That business moment has passed you. That's been our focus. We've got a dual product uh, strategy and portfolio. We collaborate really strongly with uh, Snowflake on both of those to make the most amount of data ma made available on the Snowflake platform in the shortest amount of time so that it's fresh and it's timely for business decision makers to get access to it to make decisions as they are dealing with supply chain challenges and you know uh, people challenges and so on and can make those uh, make those moments count as such they have to we've one of the things that we've learned in the pandemic is access to real time data is no longer a, oh that's great nice to have it's table stakes for yeah. businesses in every industry consumer expectations have risen to a level we've probably never seen and let's face it they're not going to go down nobody's going to want less data slower <laughs> Colleen, talk about the Click partnership from your Snowflake's perspective. Yeah, you know, it's been fabulous. And we started on the BI side and keep evolving it, frankly, with more technology, more solutions, making that real-time access. Um, not just, you know, the, the BI side of having the business intelligence and seeing the data, mm -hmm. but moving beyond that to the governance side. And that's such a huge piece of the relationship as well. And the trustworthy that executives have with the data of who's seeing it and how are we leveraging leveraging it and we keep expanding that too and having some fun too. I know you guys have been making some acquisitions. Talk to us about what's going on at Click and some news today as well. Acquisitions, news, what's yeah. what's the deal? Yeah, so like I mentioned, we have a dual product strategy, a Click data integration platform and a Click analytics platform. And we are strengthening, making sure that we align with, uh, with Snowflake's vision of all workloads, SaaS only and governed. So the announcement today was we do provide real-time data using our Click Data Integration Platform into Snowflake, but that real-time data has to make, uh, make its way into the hands of the business decision makers as well. So we launched what we call as direct query into Snowflake. So as and when data gets into the Snowflake platform, now customers for specific use cases can choose to access that data, data as it comes in by accessing it directly on Snowflake. Uh, and there are other use cases where the data's already been prepared and so on, and they'll continue using the Click uh, Analytics platform. But this direct query access will make a world of difference in terms of that uh, active intelligence in the moment decision making. The second announcement that we did was the SaaS first and uh, you know going all into SaaS. So we are doing our data movement 
in, uh, data movement investments in our SaaS platform. And one of our first investments is on the Snowflake platform, going direct into Snowflake. And our data ingestion now, uh, or data replication in real time is going to be available natively into the Snowflake platform through our SaaS data transformation uh, you know, investment that we've made. So those are the two big announcements. And governance has been the cornerstone for our platform end to end, right from the beginning. And that uh, strength continues. And that's, uh, again, completely in alignment with uh, the vision that Snowflake has as well. I couldn't agree more. That native integration, you know, we used to think about bringing the data to the work, and now it's bring the work to the data because that's the secure environment, the governed environment. Um, and it's that's what we're seeing with our product roadmaps together and where we're going. And, and you know, it gives customers just peace of mind. You know, when you're bringing the work to the data, it's more secure, it's more governed, um, and that real-time access, it's speed to, because boy, so many executives have to make real-time decisions yeah. quickly. You know, the world is moving faster than it ever has before. Um, and I've never had an executive say, oh yeah, I'll just wait and get the data later. <laughs> right. that's, that's not a conversation they <laughs> no. have. I, I need it and I need it now and I need it at my fingertips. Um, and I need more of my entire organization to have access to that data, what I feel secure and safe to share with them. And so having Click make that possible is just fantastic. The security piece is, is absolutely critical. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen such changes to the threat landscape in the last couple of yeah. years. It's no longer now a, if we get hit by a cyber attack, it's a matter of when. Yeah. And yeah. the volume of data just keeps proliferating, 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 which obviously is not going to slow down either. So having that, the governance factor, the ability to share data securely, leveraging powerful analytics across uh, to customers and partners and ecosystem is, uh, it sounds like to me a, a pretty big differentiator of what Snowflake is delivering to its customers and the ecosystem. It, it is, and I would say one of the things that has held folks back from moving to the cloud before was governance. Mm -hmm. Like who's going to have, is this just going to be a free for all, Lisa? Like I'm not feeling secure with that. And so having the ability to extend our ecosystem and work on that governance together gives um, executives peace of mind that they can easily determine who's going to have access to what, which makes the transition to the cloud faster. And you know that's what we're looking for, because to have our customers experience the benefits of cloud and the moving up and moving down from a data perspective and really getting access to the data cloud, like that's that's where the Nirvana is. And so you guys are helping make that possible and provide that peace of mind. So it's amazing. You talk about peace of mind and it's one of those things we think, oh it's a marketing term or it's it's a it's a soft term. It's actually not. It's completely measurable and it's something that I talk to a lot of C suite and and the statement of I sleep better at night is real, there's gravity with it, knowing that they can trust where the data is, the access is governed, is so, it just keeps getting more and more critical every day. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a newsworthy event, frankly. Absolutely, if nobody wants to be a headline. Go, uh, if things don't go right, uh, that's people's jobs on the line, that's reputations, and that's careers. So it's, that is so important. And I think with a lot of our customers, that's our conversations directly of how can you ensure that this is going to be a secure experience. And it's Snowflake and some of our superpowers, and frankly, some of our partners' superpowers too. Together, it's better. I can um, bring this home with a customer example, a couple of customer examples. So Urban Outfitters, I think they're a well-known brand. Uh, they've got about 650 stores to your point on governed autonomy is what I call it, right? Um, but then it's not just about helping with decision-making at the top. You want to be able to make decision-making at all levels. So we speak about data democratization. Right? It's about not just strategic decision uh, decisions that you make for a, you know, a two-year time frame or a five-year time frame. It's about decisions that you want to make today in the first half of the day versus the second half of the day. So Urban Outfitters is a common customer and they used, uh, during the pandemic, they had to change their in-stores into distribution centers. They had to look at their supply chain landscape because there were supply chain bottlenecks that are still happening today, right? So uh, with the power of both click data integration uh, and click analytics, but then the combined power of click and Snowflake, the customer actually was able to make insights available to their in-store managers, to their distribution centers, and from a time perspective, what used to take them days, or in fact sometimes even weeks, they're now able to get data in 15 minutes uh, refresh time for their operational uh, decision makers, their distribution centers, uh, and their, uh, you know, their order taking systems. So they are able to make decisions on which brands are moving, not moving. Do they need to change the product position in their stores? Do they need to change their suppliers today? Because, you know, uh, 
for what's going to be in their inventory one month later because they are foreseeing, they're able to predict the supply chain bottlenecks that are coming in. They're able to do all of that today because of that power of a governed autonomous environment that we've built, but real-time data, making, it, making fresh data available through Snowflake and easy to use dashboards and visualization through the analytics platform that we've got, right? And another customer, ABB, 37 different SAP source systems being refreshed every two minutes worldwide for B2B transactions to be able to make all of those decisions. And what you're talking about there, that's especially with the Urban Outfitters example, I think that's one that everybody is a consumer of, yeah. of clothing and apparel. That What you just described, what Click and Snowflake enabled there, that could have very well saved that organization. We saw a lot of retailers that were not able to make that pivot. Yep, no, and, and it did. You are exactly right. I think the differentiation on a lot of our core customers together of coming through the, thr not just surviving, but thriving through the pandemic, yes. access to data and supply mm -hmm. chain management. And it's these types of solutions that are game changing. And that's why Snowflake's not being sold just to the IT department, it's the business decision makers where they have to make decisions. And one of the things that surprised us, surprised us the most was we had the star schema COVID data up on our data marketplace and the access to that, that we had our customers to determine supply chain management, what's open, what are the rules per state, per region, where should we put supply, mm -hmm. where should we not, it was phenomenal. So when you have tools with like what Click offers together with that data coming through the community, I think that's where a lot of executives experience the power of the data cloud. And that's what we want to see. And that's, yeah. we're helping real businesses. We say we want to drive outcomes. Supply chain management was a massive outcome that we helped yeah. over the last two years. And that was, that, that was critical. Obviously we're still in that from a, a yeah. macroeconomic perspective. Yeah. It's still a challenge for a, a lot of folks, but it's, it is, was life and death. It was that initially, how do we survive this? And to your point, Colleen, how do we, now we've got this foundation, now we can thrive and we can leave the competition who wasn't able to move as fast in the dust behind us. A forcing function for change, really. Yes. And then that change wasn't just different, it was better. Yeah, it, it is better and it now sets the foundation for the next stage of innovation, which is AutoML and AIML, yeah. right? You're looking back, you're saying, okay, this is all the data, so these are the decisions I had to make in the moment, but then now they can start looking at what are the, you know, the midterm and the long-term strategic decisions I have to make, because I can now predict, you know, what are the interconnectedness or the sec secondary level and the tertiary level impact for worldwide events. There's, you know, pandemic, uh, we, we are past the pandemic, there's floods somewhere, there's fire somewhere, China shuts down every, every so often, you need new suppliers. How do you, you know, how do you get out of your way in terms of making daily decisions, but start planning ahead? I, I think auto ML, AI ML, and data is going to be the foundation for that, and real-time data at that, right? So what Snowflake's doing in terms of the investment in that space? and Click has acquired companies in the uh, auto ML space and driving more automation, that time to business value and time to predictive insights is going to become very key. Absolutely key and, and also really kind of a lifeline for organizations to be able to do that. And I have to say it's a source of pride for us to see our partners growing and thriving in this environment too. Like some of these acquisitions they're making, Lisa, in the machine learning space, it's awesome. I mean, this is where customers want to go. They've got all this fabulous data. They now know how to access it real time. How do I use queries to make me smarter? How do I use this machine learning to look at a vast amount of data in a very real time fashion and make business decisions from? That's the future, that's where we're going. So to yeah. see you guys expand, you know, from BI to governance to machine learning, we're really, Lisa, watching companies in our ecosystem grow as we grow. And that's the piece I take a lot of personal pride in. And it's, it's the fun part of the job, frankly. Yeah. yeah. As you should take part in that. And that's something, too, that's been thematic the last, we've, we were covering the show yesterday and today, that the, the growth and the substance of the Snowflake ecosystem. Yeah. You, you see it, you feel it, and you hear it. Yeah. Well, we uh, in Frank Slootman's book, Amp It Up, there's actually a section that he talks about because I think he has some amazing, you know, lifelong advice and on his journey of growth. And he tells us that, hey, you can attach your company, your, your personal career energy to an elevator going up and a company and a high growth story or a flat or declining. And it's harder in a flat and declining space. And Snowflake, we certainly see as an elevator skyrocketing up and these organizations surrounding us with their technologies and capabilities to have joint 
scoring outcomes, they're doing fantastic too. I've heard this story over and over again this week. I love seeing this story too with Click and it's just amazing. I bet. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me talking about the Snowflake Click Partnership, the, the better together power, and also you're just scratching the surface. The, the future, the momentum is, you can feel it. Yeah, we I love it. We appreciate your insights and your time and, and, and good you. luck. And let's, thank let you. The, let's let the girl bosses go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For my girl boss guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of Snowflake Summit 22 live from Caesars Forum in Las Vegas. I'll be right back with my next guest.